Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be installing this wig from Hairspells. All the information of the wig will be in the description box. Make sure to use my code ZA10 to get $10 off your purchase when you spend $50 or more. So I'm going to get right into the video. So the first thing that I'm doing here is putting on some lace tint spray. I already did my ball cap before. I dyed this hair black and I bleached the knots, but the hair already came really nice and ready to install, so you don't have to do that, but I just wanted a jet black bust down. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is using my bold hold glue to glue down the wig. I used three layers of glue and I spread the glue with a little brush, but you should just use a popsicle stick. Honestly, I'm still a beginner at installing wigs, so this is only like my third time installing a wig. But I put on three layers of glue, and I made sure to wait till the glue dried completely clear before you put on your next layer and before you actually glue the wig onto your head. So before I glued the wig down, I cut the lace into three different parts so that it was more flexible and easier to glue down. So here I am just gluing the wig down and honestly I glued it too far back on my head so I had to move it up a little bit because it was too far back at first. So the next thing that I did was straighten my hair and do the part, but while I did that, I put the wig band on so that it, the wig had time to melt into my scalp. And I wanted a side part, but I realized that I couldn't do a side part because like some of the wig was tracks, but like it was very confusing. So I couldn't exactly do a side part. I eventually did do it, but I had to turn the wig, but I started by doing a middle part. In order to get the hair straight on the part, I sectioned off a little piece of hair and I used my hot comb and my wax stick for each part to get the hair sleek.
Next thing I did was went in and straightened it, and honestly, I am not the best straightener. I'm very impatient when it comes to straightening. Like, you see how dumb these sections look? They could have been so much smaller so that I could get a really sleek press out. But, you know, I just straightened the hair. It was not the best, but it's okay. This is where I went in and changed the part from a middle part to a side part. So this is when I had to clean up the part. So y'all just trust the process here because it all did turn out. So next I went to do my edges. I had to pluck a little bit of edges. Honestly, if y'all can't tell, I'm not the best at plucking yet, so I still do have to work on that. And baby hairs is where I kind of get frustrated at because for some reason I'm just not the best at swooping wig baby hairs, but they turned out okay. I feel like the more that I practice, they'll get better, but I curved my edges and then I slicked it with got to be gel and the got to be spray. So the last thing that I just did was swoop them edges and yeah, it did take me a while. I was getting a little bit frustrated, but I was like, I'm going to get it right. And I did. The last thing that I did was just clean up the part with some concealer and then I was pretty much done. Anyways y'all, so this is how the hair turned out. I love it so much. It's such good quality. Make sure that you guys use my code ZA10 for a $10 coupon, which works when you spend $50 or more. And I want to thank Hair Spouse for sending me this hair. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, peace out. Hey.